Hi guys, I had to do a minor repair to my aquaponics system this morning and because of that I ended up having to dig out some rocks and stuff. So it'll give you guys a pretty clear view of what the process is and you're going to have to excuse in true Arizona fashion, I my phone overheats in the heat so I have it strapped to a <laughs> ice pack to actually make this video. Um, so this is a bell siphon. The you can hear it, see it shaking right now. That's because the suction that it's creating, it's flushing it out like a toilet. And I'm going to go ahead and disrupt that in just a second so I can show you guys. So this is the guard. Um, this just keeps the rocks and helps keep the roots away. But it will get plugged up. This system has been running for about almost two years. And so, yes, the, the roots have finally made their way into there. Typically speaking, I, I just dig it out in the inside and pull the roots out and throw them away and that usually fixes the problem. Um, all a bell siphon is, see all those roots? All a bell siphon is, is a pipe with a lid on and you want it to be double the diameter of your drain pipe. So then you cut some slits into the bottom of it and wherever these slits are, if you can see I drilled some extra holes in it because when this was overflowing I didn't know what was going on and I thought maybe if I could and it wasn't breaking siphon so I was giving it so whatever this is approximately two inches to the top of my holes so that means that the siphon will break right here because it'll start sucking air and that means that I will always have two inches of water at the bottom of this uh, grow bed, which is good, especially for the Arizona sun. Uh, it gets pretty dang hot out here. Uh, we've had a couple of weeks already of like 117 and stuff, so the water staying in the bottom about two inches will help keep these plants cool enough, um, which we've been just getting beat to death with it. But so how a bell siphon works, and as you can see, which normally you can't see this because it's all rocks, um, this is filling up with the inlet coming in. It's filling up when it gets to the top of this drain pipe. That pipe, if you can see in through the screen, comes out underneath the bottom and goes into the fish tank. So that wherever you cut this pipe off, whatever level, that's where your water is going to stop. That's why it was blowing my mind that this thing was overflowing. How could it overflow when my pipe stops there? When the water goes in, starts draining into this pipe, as it will in just a second. By the way, the water's not dirty. It has a iron supplement that makes it red. Um, the water starts going down that pipe. It creates a cyclone. When I put the bell siphon, or the pipe that has the lid on it, let me get these roots out of here, it has been the vein of my existence since dealing with this issue, you guys will see when it creates that kind of a slight clone and you put this bell siphon or pipe with a lid on it in there, it's going to make an air bubble that pushes up to the top and this whole thing will flush out like a toilet. So drop that in there and now watch. There it goes. It it created that and now it is draining like a toilet. See, you can even see it shake from the suction that it creates. It's a strong suction. That's approximately 25 gallons of water that this thing is um, flushing out. Look at that. See how fast it does it? And you can hear it. When you hear that slurping sound, that's because it's starting to suck air through those holes and slits that I showed you. And what that does is break that siphon, which when that siphon's broken, then this bed's going to fill up with water again. And this is on about, about, probably about 8 to 10 minutes. Every 8 to 10 minutes, around the clock, here it is, it's filling up again. Uh, every 8 to 10 minutes, around the clock, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, this thing is filling up and draining. When it fills up, those plants are getting infused with uh, fish waste, fish fertilizer, right? Everyone knows how great this fish emulsion is. So 
the, when the water comes in, uh, it's fertilizing the plants. The plants absorb the fish waste. And when it dumps out back into the uh, um, fish tank, the plants have cleaned the water for the fish. So it's a very symbiotic relationship. The, the fish fertilize the plants and the plants clean the water for the fish. And as you can see, it's already almost all the way full. So we're gonna be, and typically you never get to see this, which is why since I was repairing it, I thought it'd be a perfect time uh, to show you guys. Um, so you wanna cut slits in your guard. Um, I don't think ours were big enough. It's a little difficult because of the diameter of this. I should have just drilled holes instead of slits. So note self, put more of those next time. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna be experimenting with something called an external bell siphon um, because that takes the bell siphon out of the grow bed entirely. Um, and that would be fantastic because I'd never have to deal with roots or any of that again. So um, that'd be fantastic. I just haven't done it before, so I need to experiment with it to see if it's all they say it is and it works correctly before I go hooking up nine grow beds to it. So it's almost full and you'll see how it just dumps it all. I mean, like I said, that's 25 gallons. So it does fill up relatively quickly and you do need good inflow to create that, uh, that, that funnel. And now here we go, it's flushing. And as you can see, there it goes. See, it even wiggles a little bit because the suction is intense. You know, when you consider this is all being done by gravity and siphoning, there's no electrical components. Now, if I just didn't have to worry about roots ever, we'd, it'd be perfect. Uh, however, I mean, once every two years, when you consider it's not like I have to be out here weeding and rototilling and do it fertilizing and doing all this stuff, it's not a bad, uh, not a bad, not a bad deal. So. Hear it sucking air? It's breaking siphon. So it'll just keep doing that. But anyways, that's your, I hope that gives you a little bit better understanding of how a bell siphon works. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.